Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ben the Elite here, back again doing a new video. I know, I just woke up. I just showered, so part of my hair, it's not like that good. I need to comb it out. But today, we are doing something uh, special. So I'm doing my first ever vlog. So if you guys can give me any constructive criticism, that would be awesome. Uh, I, But the reason why I'm vlogging, well, I shouldn't say vlog. I'm more of us recording this just because this is my actually first time going to New York. Sort of. Like, the first time I'm actually going to be spending the night in New York. So, like, I kind of want to, like, record some bits and parts and just see what I remember. Um, so, yeah. Well, I'm going to New York. Now, I live in New York State, but I don't... I have only been to New York, like, maybe twice in my whole life. And one time I was only there for like 20 minutes, so I didn't get to see anything. But today we're spending the whole day down there in Long Island, which I've never been to, in Queens. Uh, the reason why we're going down there is because of the wrestling universe uh, is down there. And there was a meet and greet that I was going to go attend because a lot of my meet and greets I was going to go to got canceled, unfortunately, because of COVID. So we're going to go down there. We're going to attend those meet and greets. Uh, meeting David Atunga. Gil Kem, uh, and then Zack Ryder on Long Island, and then I'm meeting the OC tomorrow, which is why I'm spending the night, because Saturday is Zack and David and Gil, Sunday is the OC, which is Root Girls and Carl Anderson, it's not the OC, but it's Root Girls and Carl Anderson, the Good Brothers, um, so going down, meeting them, uh, I don't know what I'm going to show, what I'm not going to show, I think I'm just going to show, like, just kind of like, maybe the light down there, um, and what I get signed, and everything i don't know but yeah and that is where we gotta stand <laughs> for the next hour no it's not it's such an hour Alright guys, so it's the next day. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be getting signed. Just so in case I forget to show you what how it looks after it's done signed. Um, but this is what I'm getting signed. The Carl Anderson Elite. The Gal was Elite. And then, honestly, the OC Battle Pack. First time in the line for Carl Anderson. Uh, and I'm thinking about the encyclopedia. I know there's a new encyclopedia out there, so I may... May or may not get it signed. I don't know. But these are like for sure. That's a maybe. So. I guess we'll wait and see. The meet and greets is about like in. Three hours. So. We're going to go. Well probably not wait in line quite yet. But we're probably going to go do something. And yeah. So. I'll catch you guys at the meet and greet. Well it's already a few people out. <laughs> and it's only. Uh, what. Not even 11 yet, and it starts in an hour. That's crazy. Alright, so I'm just putting this here just as, like, a fact that it wasn't here, okay? Like, when I say, oh, that's right where we gotta go, I actually wasn't right where we gotta go. That was who was hosting it. The Western Universe was hosting it, but there was a comic book store that uh, had the meet and greet line. So that's where we stood for, like, an hour. It wasn't too bad. It was pretty quick. But as you can tell by the picture up on screen... Uh, I did get to meet Luke Gals and Carl Anderson, so I just want to, like, inform you guys that that actually wasn't where we had to be. Uh, but the nice woman inside the Western Universe actually helped us, because I'm not from New York City, and I think she picked up really quickly. So, yeah, uh, so we did meet Luke Gals and Carl Anderson. It was a pretty good meet and greet, honestly. It was very quick and easy. I like it. So, yeah, now I'm going to show you guys what I got signed. All right, guys, so we're back. So I did the vacation. With my stepdad, if you guys were curious about who was in the photo, it was my stepdad. Um, but this is my first time going to Long Island. It was pretty fun. Had a lot of fun. Went down there to meet some wrestlers, and we went to some spots. Uh, so yeah, that's who was in the photo for anyone who was curious. So I'm going to do a little recap on everything. Like everything that I did, everything I got signed. Uh, so right when we got there, we checked into a hotel. Obviously, you should always do that first at every like, vacation we did. Um, so... We did, after we did that, we went to the Western Universe, which is probably, besides like Heroes Hideout, like my favorite spot for wrestling toys, like wrestling collectibles, not toys, 
mom. <laughs> um, but my probably one of my favorite stores though to go to because there's always stuff there that you can get signed at a future meet and greet or just whatever. So I love the Western Universe. Um, and this is my first meet and greet I've done with them. I won't do a lot of meet and greets with them because I this was like a two hour drive away. Um, but to me, it was sort of worth it because it was like a big weekend. We got to meet Zach, we got to meet Rugals, we got to meet David and Gil Kim. So it was worth the two hour drop. It was worth the two hours down. So yeah, so after after we checked in everything, I met David Otunga. He signed it in yellow, which actually looks pretty nice if you ask me. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, and then I meet Gil Kim, as you can tell by the photo. Not going to show the Encyclopedia right now because it's a lot. So I will show it in a second after I'm done showing everything out. So, after that we went to Zack Ryder's meet and greet. Now, Zack Ryder's meet and greet was probably... Probably what made the trip for me. I, I love Zack Ryder. I've always been a fan since I was like 11. And I'm so stoked that I got to meet Zack. <laughs> Hasn't like not worn me off yet. Like, I've, I've been like... Not like starstruck but I've been with a little shock you know that he's not with WWE right now and whatever so I got to meet him which was really surprising uh, so had him sign his Funko Pop in Brewer it looks pretty nice I don't know if you guys can really see that but it looks really good in Brew, in my opinion but I had him sign it in Brew just because this next piece which was the main piece that I had uh, that I wanted to get signed was he was he's wearing in this figure the US jacket so I figured why not have him sign it in blue which you could tell right there it's a little smudge but it's not too bad I you know it's pretty good this is like the piece I went down to get signed though so it looks really good it did smudge a little bit on the way down on the way back so it is what it is honestly to me I don't care that much and then I got in, what, two basics signed. And this basic was, like, like probably like one of his more underrated figures, in my opinion. So I got in um, this older basic signed. Signed at Boo. Looks really nice. Then I went back and I met him because we got food after the meet and greet. So I went back and I met him. And when I went back and met him... Because uh, the line was really short, and the food was actually longer than the line. <laughs> uh, so it's so a whole, but, but his line was, like, long. But, like, my food was longer. It was, so I went back in line, I waited, and I got this sign, because I had this to be signed, too. And I kind of forgot to get it signed. So, this is right here, is in white. It's really nice, you know, in white. So I'm glad that I got that signed as well. Carl Anderson had him sign his Elite. Pretty nice. You know, obviously, you gotta get Luke Gallows Elite, which I had both of these. I didn't have to buy neither of these on, like, eBay or Amazon or whatever. I had both of these um, for a little while now. So, they both got signed. They both look really nice. Now, this piece... This piece, I was supposed to meet them back in August, but they ended up having to cancel because um, of COVID. So... Unfortunately, I didn't get to meet them back in August when I was supposed to. So I got this piece for them to both sign, um, which looks really nice when they both signed it. Um, I got in this battle pack signed. It looks really good, as you can tell. Really good. It's the first time in the line for Carl Anderson. Not for Luke Gowles, because Luke Gowles, I think, had like a, a basic and an elite before that. And then... This is the only 8x10 I got signed. This is the only 8x10. Luke Gallows signed right there. Carl Anderson. You can't really see it, but I probably if I bought it and you can see it right here. He signed right here. And it looks nice. I'm probably going like, to meet them again sometime anyways. And when I do, I'm going to get Carl Anderson to sign it differently. Like in a different color. I'll just pay for it to get signed again. Whatever. Because it kind of looks a little bit of bad <laughs> i thought he was gonna sign it like at an angle like here and he didn't so it, it is what it is um uh, but he did ask me like are you sure you wanted to sign it away and i was like yeah it's fine um i didn't really know what's the brain besides the white marker because i didn't think i was gonna get his 8x10 signed 
So right here is Dave Rotunga signature, pretty cool. Uh, and then right behind here, let me see if I can do it in one take without being too long. So, hold on. Gil Kim, well that's just incredible. I turned right to Justin Incredible's page. Which he was also at the Western Universe too, but I didn't have him sign this because he always signed it. Okay, where is it? Right here. Gil Kim. Boom. There we go. She signed it. Pretty nice. Right on the same page as Gangue, which I had him sign at Wesselfest. Now, this is the hard part. So right here was signed by Carl Rukaus, which is pretty good. He signed it in a Sharpie, thank God, because if he signed it in white, it would not look that good. But yeah, it's right there. Um, and then Carl Anderson. Hold on. This is the one I had like a hard time finding the page, too, because when I got up there, I had Rukaus' page like all out, but I forgot to get Carl Anderson's page out. So... It was a little awkward for a little bit, <laughs> not gonna lie. And right here is Carl Anderson's. Pretty nice, if you ask me. I really like it a lot. So, he signed it. Looks really good. And yeah. I don't know what else more to say other than, yeah. <laughs> really, that's it. Just, yeah.